Hello everyone. Welcome to the latest edition of the Hillbilly Files. Now today we have something completely different for you. A very, very unique adventure this time. Um, as you can see, I've got the Can-Am out today. And, uh, I stopped by a little place. Locals call this Burnwell Beach. Uh, it's just a little place you can camp. You can camp back in there, that sort of thing. And come down here by the river and fish and all that. And I actually learned to swim right over there when I was a little kid. Uh, dog paddle. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, like I said, I've got the Can-Am out today. And I've got it loaded with camping gear and uh <laughs> motorcycle i am on my way to devil ants hatfield's old home place i'm going to be tent camping out by uh, out by the woods in his backyard literally how cool is that we've got several things lined up for you uh some of you may have seen in one of our uh, recent videos, uh, Jack Hatfield and I, he owns the, uh, the home place now. We're at Devil Lance Hatfield's home place. He's uh, Devil Lance's, you know, grandson several times, you know. But uh, anyhow, we've got several things on tap for you. Uh, one thing that we're going to be doing is, check this out. Uh, Devil Ants, when he built his house, he built it in three sections. And we'll be, you know, Heather, I'm sure she'll be showing the picture right about now. Uh, <laughs> but the back section, when they built the back section, he had a root cellar out behind his house. And uh, when they built the back section, apparently, from what I've been told, they just kind of left the thing intact, shoved a bunch of dirt, you know, leveled it out to make the last section and put the last section of the, of the house in. We are going to open up his old root cellar. Um, I'm not sure, y'all, some of you guys may have seen the old Geraldo Rivera, when he opened Al Capone's vault, and how that went. <laughs> you never know, right? We could get over there, there could be a stash of guns. There could be nothing. It could be collapsed in there. Uh, we don't know, we won't know until we find out, will we? But uh, there's also, uh, we're gonna do some metal detecting. Uh, see if we can see anything for the uh, for the museum there. Uh, anything we find, any artifacts we find, uh, we'll be going into the museum. That's uh, that's one of the good things, you know, about uh, you know Jack. He's like I said, he's a descendant, and uh, we'll both we both are we're like distant cousins. But um, anything that we find, so your average person, you know, these artifacts and stuff, a lot of them they'd be wanting to sell. Them. But he he wants to use these. Anything we find. Uh, will be put in his museum to be shared with you guys. Now, how cool is that? That's the kind of historical research, preservation. That's the sort of thing you want to see. You know, not somebody, you know, this is Devil Lance's gun. You know, I, yeah, I want 20 grand. You know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, and it goes in a private collection, that sort of thing. This way it goes right there. It'll be right there at the home place at the museum where you guys can actually come and see everything but uh anyhow devil ants uh, he had a trail cut from his house to the graveyard he had two sons troy and elias he had several but anyway troy and elias they were killed in a gunfight and devil ants he had a trail made so that he could ride his horse fred through this trail to get back to the graveyard. And he went, you know, almost daily to see his sons, you know. But, but uh, anyway, I, I will be, as far as I know, I will be the first one. I'm gonna go check out this old trail of his. As far as I know, I'll be the first one to walk this trail since Devil Ants. So, so uh, yeah, this should be, this should be tons of fun. You know, metal detecting, digging up the old root cellar and checking out the old trail this should be a fun trip this should definitely be fun and you guys you know obviously you get to come along and anything that we find you'll be the first ones to get to see this imagine that yeah i, I broke down i actually cleaned it for this video i, I actually cleaned the side by side i, I never clean this thing ever <laughs> i hose it off and put it up that's it I had to do a bunch of work too for this trip the whole front end I had to do tie rods you know you guys out there you know 
yeah, grease monkeys, fellow fellow grease monkeys. You know how that stuff is. If you're not riding these things, you're probably underneath it working on it. But yeah, I had to do uh, tie rods and all kinds of crazy stuff. Bearings, fun stuff, fun stuff. But anyway, <laughs> check that out. How pretty is this place? I've camped. I have a, a little hidden camping spot right up here at the very next bend up from this spot. But you can come down here, you can fish, and you can just set you up a little tent and have you a bonfire, you know, old logs. I wouldn't burn the plastic, you know, smoky. It's, yeah, I wouldn't do that. But anyway, you can fish here. This is a great um, catfish hole carp. You know, carp aren't fun to eat, but they're, they're tons of fun to catch. And I tell you a good trick. You know, grape bubble gum, the gum, you know, chewing gum, bubble gum, grape bubble yum will stay on your hook for a really long time and really big carp love that stuff but i will tell you one thing right now you better have some heavy line because you're in for a fight once you hook one of those things <coughs> they will fight you they will call your mother names i mean it's just a mess <laughs> but they're tons of fun to catch though you know they ain't no fun they're no good to eat or anything like that they're they're considered a trash fish, you know. Uh, but anyway, they have a stripe up their side. It's nasty. But anyway, fun to t tons of fun to catch, though. Catfish. Uh, we've got a lot of smallmouth in here in the Tug River. Uh, it, it's just it, crawling with them. Uh, this spot here, I bring trail riders down here a lot. There's a, a, a little shallow spot there. You can splash around a little bit if it's hot, cool off in the summer. That kind of thing. But anyhow, like I said, I guess I better load up and get on up the road. We still yet got a long ways to go. It's about a give or take 25, 30 mile trip, something like that, to get there. And uh, so, may as well head on out. We ain't gonna get there till we leave, are we? See you in a minute. Okay. I've made it. This right here is Devil Ants Hatfield's backyard. Uh, you guys will remember I brought you out uh, not a few weeks ago, a month ago, whatever, and showed you uh, the museum, the, the Devil Ants Hatfield, Jack McCoy, uh, or, sorry, Jack Hatfield. <laughs> a little bit of a confusion there, huh? Hatfields and McCoys. Uh, Jack Hatfield, he's the uh, great, great, great great grandson of Devil Ants Hatfield and uh, they recently got the property back several years ago and Jack put in uh, he started a foundation a nonprofit and uh, I showed you the uh, you know the museum and all that kind of stuff today I'm doing a little bit something different like I said this is a camping trip I'm going to be I'm going to be setting up my tent right over there and I'm going to be tent camping here tonight but uh, like I said this is Jack's house and there he is now <laughs> but, uh, the museum is right there and we've got the stuff over here to open up uh open up the old cellar the old uh i guess it's hatfield mccoy root cellar that sort of thing uh get the backhoe sitting over there and we're going to be doing that tomorrow i'll show you a little bit more about it later uh there's some trail riders over there finishing lunch right now i don't want to interrupt them all right it's about 3 30 something like that I've uh, got my tent all set up, ready to go for later. All I gotta do is get my little fire pit out later. Put in by the tent. I got some Duraflame logs for cooking so I can cook on my little fire. Uh, I brought a bunch of MREs for this meal, or for my meal this evening. Uh, my brother-in-law, Steve, uh, who just happens to be a subscriber to our channel and a big supporter. Uh, as a matter of fact, he bought me the GoPro that you're watching this video from. Matter of fact. Uh, bought he bought this uh, bought us this for Christmas. This was a Christmas present from Steve. Thank you, Steve. But uh, he also he sent us uh, a big box. He sent me a great big box of MREs. You know, like full on military style MREs. And so I'm gonna break into one of them here in a minute and see what we got going on in there. But we've got everything set up for in the morning. Uh, the contractor, uh, I think he said his name was Danny. It's supposed to be here about nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're gonna mark off a bunch of stuff, you know, what we wanna get into. 
and get started. It should be, God only knows what we'll find. I am very eager to say the least. I think we're expecting around 50 degrees tonight. Shouldn't be too cold, but I brought my I brought one of my heaters with me anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so, shouldn't have any trouble there. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this, man. Just hanging out in Devil Ants Hatfield's yard, y'all. <laughs> How cool is that? How cool is that? Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> I wouldn't get to do stuff like this if it wasn't for y'all. <laughs> but, wow. I am just blown away at how cool this is. How beautiful. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. The old tractor sitting here. Look at this. Now, I'm pretty sure this was not Devil Lance's tractor. So let's just get that out there. Yeah. Before somebody jumps on and says, Hey, Devil Lance didn't own that tractor. Yeah, you'd, you'd be surprised how many people... <laughs> I, I can tell you one thing I can tell you one thing with absolute certainty guys speaking from experience if you have never been a YouTuber you have never been insulted you just think you have you would not believe some of the wow some out there stuff that really is 99% of it 99% of it has been like super positive you know and every now and then every now and then let's just say you have to ban someone once in a while but <laughs> other than that it's been just a positive awesome experience you know doing these videos going on these locations these you know I've always been one of those people that's always been on to the next big adventure kind of thing you know what i mean hillbilly kid i was raised here you know doing this kind of stuff back in the woods you know that's that's my thing you know that's my jam right there so you know it's just really cool that i i'm very happy that i get to share this with you guys i'll put it that way showing you guys these videos and doing this kind of stuff you know these historic locations these old stories this kind of stuff is well guys it's every bit as much fun as it sounds like it probably is it, it really is but uh, you know we wouldn't be able to do it without you guys and you know thank you to all of our you know that's why i wanted to bring that up steve and to the rest of our you know our supporters our subscribers our page members uh thank you guys we couldn't do any of this stuff you're the reason we do it you know you're we do it for you you're the reason we do it i am just tickled thrilled pleased and a whole bunch of other stuff to actually get to to do this stuff and share this stuff with you guys i mean seriously have you ever heard of anybody else tent camping in devil ants hatfield's backyard <laughs> Here we are. There's the tent. <laughs> but anyway, I'll get back to you in a minute. I just thought I'd stop for a second and show y'all what I was doing, where I'm at now. Got my stuff set up, just kind of chilling out, enjoying the beautiful weather. It's about 75, I'm gonna say something like that. Nice breeze blowing. It's really, really nice out here today. I'm just kind of <laughs> just hang out and enjoy the way and the wind she ain't going nowhere <laughs> I've had worse storms than this she ain't going nowhere alright see y'all in a minute okay I got my MRE real ready to go and this one is Pinto stew with ham. A complete meal. Those of you who've never seen MREs, real MREs, check this out. You will be blown away by the amount of crap <laughs> that is actually in one of these things. And that's the heater. Uh, there's the Pinto bean. There's shortbread cookies. Uh, what is this? Grape 
power beverage. Uh, hang on, hang on. Dried fruit mix. Peanut butter. There's probably crackers here somewhere. Tortilla shells for the peanut butter. And then you've got napkins, silverware, uh, pepper, salt, sugar. You can got candy, spoon, everything you need. It's a complete meal in one little container. And this thing, they, there's all kinds of crazy stuff in there. Matches and I mean just you name it. There's all kinds of stuff. MREs, the unbelievable amount of stuff in just one little bitty bag. But uh, I'm going to get him fired up here in a second. And I'm going to have me some pinto bean stew with ham. <laughs> 290 calories. Watching my, I'm watching my girlish figure. Yeah, <laughs> I brought a buttload of these, so <laughs> I may eat three or four of these for the nights out. It don't look like a whole lot of stuff in there, but I brought some other stuff too. I bought chips and cookies and all kinds of junk. You know how it is when you're camping; you bring all kinds of junk. But I just wanted to make sure I broke out one of the MREs. I know a lot of people haven't really seen these things until I tell you the truth. The ones that Steve sent me was the first actual M real MREs I'd ever seen. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you one of those things. A little bit of everything. And, like this here, it could just all kinds of crazy stuff. You never know. Anyway. All right. If we've got her warmed up, what you do, I, I should have showed you that. You have two lines here. You fill it with water up between those lines. And there's a, a pouch inside there. That reacts with the water and it causes a chemical reaction and it gets hot and it's ready to, to take out so it's dinner time I've got my little plastic spork thingy ready to go got dessert and everything how about that <laughs> thank you Steve thanks for dinner <laughs> oh I got my little fire pit set up since it's a yard, you know, I put it on some blocks. Had some blocks over there. I grabbed a couple. And I brought my little fire pit with me so I don't, you know, scorch the grass or anything like that. You know, we want to leave it exactly the way it was when I got here. Uh, we'll only be here overnight, so it's not like the block will be there very long or anything. They'll be moved in the morning. So, shouldn't even mess up his lines. <laughs> Not bad. Let's see if I can do this. Hold the camera with my knees. <laughs> Look at that. Looks just like bean soup. It's really good too. Little chunks of ham in it. Yeah. Uh, I'm out here with Jack Hatfield. Hey, get him, get him everybody. <laughs> We're uh, back. <laughs> uh, if you guys will remember from our video, from our museum video, you'll remember Jack. Uh, a lot of you seem to really like Jack, so... <laughs> so I guess I was invited back. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> but uh, we are on the hill directly behind Devil Lance's old home place. That's his home, uh, the home place right there. It's set right there. Yeah. And, well, I I'll let Jack explain this to you. He's well, probably better than me at this. It's his well, baby. we got the camera this way, looking this way, of course, you know. Um, you can see where the food truck is that we've got. We're about to put a picnic shelter there for everyone to rest and all the trail riders to rest coming off the trails and visitors um, and then over here where the backhoe is is going to be a new museum building it's going to be a 20 by 40 cabin that we're going to finish out in the museum and gift shop will go in that and then we'll have of course some gym mining for the kiddos so you guys will have to come and check all that out definitely but as you may have remember on our last video it's kind of getting a lot of foliage on it now and harder to see but about halfway up the mountain there was a ledge where the sharpshooters would look out over the hideout which was actually across the street over here where those two outbuildings right are it was a two-story construction block building and then um, a lot of you may recognize the photo of Dev Lance on his favorite stallion Fred and in the background of that photo is a glimpse of the hideout that used to sat over there. Oh, really? Yeah, so um, it's a pretty famous photo, pretty easy to find, so you'll be able to see it if you just Google it. Um, his favorite horse was Fred, 
and this yeah. is a stallion. He loved Fred. <laughs> and um, so, you know, the sharpshooters would sit over there and hide out, watch out over the hideout that was over there. And then later on, what became the home place over here, the vice, he got tired of raising her children in the hideout and wanted a wanted home. A home. So um, they built a home over here. So we are actually still exploring and finding things out about the home place here today. Get up our website, HatfieldMcCoyFoundation.org, um, and um, you know, find all the information you need, and even donate on the website if you want. And please make sure you join our mailing list. Um, we will be doing. Um, emails of events and things um, as we have them and host them here at the right. uh, museum and we've got um, our uh, grand opening coming up we're going to do free admission um, as well as lots of entertainment for the grand opening so it's going to be a really cool grand opening event I'm working on some really fun authentic Appalachian entertainment so it's cool. gonna be it's gonna be really cool um, <laughs> shooting each other uh, <laughs> Well, there are, yeah, we are working on some reenactments. That is one part of it. Um, we're trying to get the spoon lady. I don't know if you've seen her, but she's really awesome. Um, but we're trying to get some really cool um, events for that, for sure. So it'll be a fun party, no doubt about it. Um, and I think we're going to try and do, I don't know, I have to check into legality of it, but we're going to try and do a historical uh, recreation of a moonshine steel running um, mm. during the event. So we're going to check that out. I don't know if we can do that or not, but I'm working on it. Um, but you yeah, know, that means so much for personal. That's use. what I thought. A hundred gallons. Keep it yeah. for yourself. Yeah, we, yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's willing to keep. The yeah, of course. You know, I mean, we got yeah. we had a gracious family. There was a local uh, moonshiner that um, was very popular here, um, and he ended up passing away very quickly. Um, unfortunately, he was very young. It was sad. He was actually starting to help us. His name was Kendall Dingus. He was also helping us um, with the uh, cemetery restoration. Him and his crew paying their respects, you know. Because, yeah. um, of course, you know, we're known for the outlaw, the moonshining. So he was like, you know, I want we want to pay our respects to the most notorious moonshiners in the world. And, you know, and I'm like, oh, hey, let's do it, you know. So exactly. we worked a lot on the cemetery up there, and he passed away. Um, very, um, you know, quickly, uh, you know, unexpectedly. So his family donated his uh, moonshine still set up for us to be able to display in the museum in his honor. Really? So that's going to be one of the new uh, exhibits in the museum. But, you know, the family is interested in um, doing one last memorial run for the, you know, exactly. the historical exactly. purposes, you know, yeah, for, historical the, for, purposes. for the grand opening. Yeah, historical purposes, of yeah. course, y'all. Yeah, know. yeah. He's, so, he's not making moonshine for, no, for himself no, multiple no, times. No, <laughs> no, but we are going to try to do it for the grand opening. We've got a wood carver coming, a oh, really? cha chainsaw wood carver. He's oh, really? an artist. Yeah, he's cool. cool. That yeah. sounds cool. That yeah, sounds we got so lots cool. of stuff planned for that grand opening. It'll be really cool. Um, oh, uh, uh, you're, uh, mention, uh, it's tax deductible if any of you do oh, yeah. make any donations or anything like yep. that. It's it's tax, de tax deductible. He's, yep. he's legit. Yeah, we so, are. You know. a, we are a legit 501c3 uh, registered nonprofit entity. So yeah, anything that's donated or uh, volunteer time, all that. Yeah, it's yeah. it's all tax deductible for sure. Um, Hit him up. Yeah, yeah, you can look <laughs> me up. I'm good. Um, yeah, we're really excited about this dig tomorrow. This is really. I've been waiting a month for this, um, so There's, I can't wait to get this started tomorrow and um, one of the future plans we got we got to get some funding for of course is um, in front of or right behind my car down there um, we've got the old moonshine well yeah so right there. that well um, was what supplied the home with the water and the family um, to make moonshine here on the property so um, it's a hand dug well and oddly enough there's no well cover on it so I got that little wood wooden one that we made to just kind of keep people off of it for yeah, the moment. Yeah. But um, I'm hoping to make a um, a nice you know display of a you know antique looking well yeah. cover to yeah. go over that. Um, yeah. I'll get it done. Um, but it's you know it's it's all going for a good cause and the history preservation. I've I've invested enough money that would make you choke if I told you the number yeah. to get this going and started and um you know trying to well, construction's not oof. cheap no it's not buddy no it's not especially after covid yeah. i can't oh, believe yeah. 
I mean, the yeah. prices for all this construction stuff is up like three times. Three quarter inch yeah. sheet of plywood is $75. It's ridiculous. I, I, I blew my mind. And even these contractors are like, look, you know, I, you know, they're like, I hate coming at you with a number like this, but we ain't got a choice. Hey, you know? got, uh, we've got one other surprise for you as well, guys. Right over here. Just right over there. Kind of going up through there. It's hard to see from this angle. Yeah. That is Devilance Hatfields Trail. He made that, uh, like I mentioned earlier, at the, down by the uh, Aunt Betty's, down by Fernwell Beach. He actually cut that trail so that he could go visit his sons, Troy and Elias, at the graveyard and, you know, avoid avoid the road, that kind of thing. He could just jump on Fred and go up around the woods and stuff. You know, back then there wasn't much of a road, right? Yeah, I mean, it was, my, it was still road. horses and buggies That's and Model true. Ts. But so, but what was interesting was, so you see where the tree line is, right? So between the house and the tree line is where he had his pen for his favorite stallion, Fred. Mm -hmm. So, and if you notice, that Basically trail, where I'm camping. Yes, exactly where you're camping. <laughs> that was Tris. I'm that camping was, in Fred's house, y'all, yeah, yeah. the horse's house. Yeah, you're in Fred's area <laughs> today, bud. I'm in the barn. But, but, you know, if you notice that trail is right to the back of Fred's so It's very convenient right. for him to just go out, Jump hop on, on Fred and, and go out the up, gate and right up, up the mountain he went. Yeah, yeah. So, but he built that trail um, because he was um, visiting his two favorite sons, um, or I won't say favorite, but two sons that were very, very close to him, Troy and Elias. And Troy and Elias, um, they were the only children he lost um, when he was alive, and they actually weren't lost due to the feud. Right. The funny part is, is that, you know, they were actually shot and killed over moonshining rights. Um, in Boomer, West Virginia, they had a shootout with the Italians. The story is, is that, you know, all four, the two Italians and the two Hatfields were such great shots that they ended up all four shooting and killing each other at the same time. Mm -hmm. So those two boys died at the same time. So when you go up to the cemetery up there, you can see their graves side by side, Troy right. and Elias. Yeah, I'd and, read where they put the same hole, one, dug yeah. one big hole and put yep, both, both coffins down in the same yep. hole. Yep, they were two peas in a pod. Um, they were his middle children, and he was uh, very close and fond of those two boys. And when those two boys passed, they always say that was a turning point for him, and that um, that's when he, you know, kind of um, decided to clean up his life and turn to God, and um, he was baptized some years later and whatnot. But this trail, it's kind of a sad story, you know, that trail that he built was to go see his two sons every day. Yeah. Um, so that's that's what he would do is hop on Fred and, and take that trail over the, it kind of goes up and then over and across the mountain over there to get to the cemetery. As far as we know, no one's ever actually walked this trail. No, You know, never. since since Devil Lance used it himself. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna head up there in a minute and we're actually gonna go walk this trail for a little ways. I don't think we'd be able to cover the whole thing. It looks pretty thick down through there, but we're gonna go up and check it out, show you a little bit about it, show you some of Devil Lancer's trail. First yep. time it's been used since since he used it himself. So yeah, cool stuff, huh? Yeah. <laughs> check it out. Ready? Yeah. Let's go Let's get them. I'm down by the right in front of the cemetery entrance, actually. So right here, you probably get a good shot of this trail right here. Um, kind of goes, goes through here. Up. And then it circles turns. around up through there and goes down over there to the cemetery on the mountain over there. Yep. Bring the gun in case you run into any bears or anything. So be ready to run. I, I may or may not have one with me. Well, <laughs> I know I just need to run faster than you, right? <laughs> may apple. Love seeing this stuff. I mean, springs here. I should have worn my boots, but like a dummy I didn't. I got my tennis shoes on. Look how pretty. Well, it is, ain't it? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Makes you feel privileged to live here, don't it? It does. I do, buddy. I really do, and I tell you. There's something watching over this property. I'll tell you that now. I feel it all the time. I heard that. Ain't no doubt 
that there's something that protects this place. Well, hill levels off a little bit here. We got the hill part done. <laughs> <laughs> crazy how you know I've not been up here and this was you know everything when I hear it to me it's a theory you know yeah yeah and coming up here walking up through here this is definitely an intentional path I mean you look oh at yeah that. you can see it yeah this is not a this is not an accidental route. Uh-uh. This was definitely somebody cut out and at one time yeah, had a easy. whole lot of traffic on. Yeah. You know well what just I mean? imagine just from where we started just to where we're at, that's a lot of work mm -hmm. to level that out like that. Oh yeah. And surprisingly under the canopy here, under the tree canopy, it's not overgrown real bad so far anyway. Yeah. I really thought it would be. I didn't think yeah. we'd get this far. <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's something interesting right here. I caught a glimpse of. Well, now. What's that? That's an old. Uh, Devilance Hatfield's <laughs> Hormel can, Ham Can. <laughs> <laughs> so I do know that there is a ravine somewhere between here. Yeah. And a cemetery over there. I see a path, game that's trail. I, at. I think that's water though. Yeah. You okay. can see where the trail used to go this way, but it's... Well, this land down here that's um, straight in front of us, of course, this used to be the farm. They went to farm was on the other side of the tree line and Fred's Yeah, the big field. And this land is very wet down there, that uh, farmland. Yeah. It's yeah. very wet um, because of all the runoff, I guess, from the mountain. And I'd imagine, and there's even a natural spring on it down there. Oh, really? Yeah, and that's why there ain't nothing built on it. You know, it's uh, wet. Yeah. Pretty wet. Um, but he was smart, of course. That's where he did his farming. He knew what he was doing. That's for sure. Yeah. How beautiful is this? No is this not beautiful that. back in here? Yeah, it is. Boy, it's steep. Ain't it? Yeah, it is straight up. About a 45 degree angle i don't know if the camera you know i'm sure it doesn't do depth perception that well but that's that's really steep straight Can up you almost imagine though i mean he came here to hide out right and then ended up settling here but could you imagine back in the day on horseback even yeah trying to get up and down his poor old horse trying to get you know what yeah. i mean like yeah yeah no kidding i mean no kidding there's no way you could do it on foot like well, that. Well, he probably went through the trees and made the path, you well, know, yeah. and then had the path widened because you can tell where somebody's dug. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, it's pretty flat through there. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and it's hard to tell, too, with all the erosion that's gone, gone yeah. on. Yeah, a hundred years worth, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, I've got a burr in my shoe. He's poking me. Uh -huh. But um, it's just crazy, you know, when I do things on this property and i walk this these paths and this land sometimes try to get out and help my mental health yeah no doubt um uh, uh, yeah. to just think of like how they lived how they traveled these mountains man i mean it's insane well my mom i can remember her saying uh talking about my grandfather uh they live just on the kentucky side and pikeville from where they lived they had to go to the for the census mm -hmm. yeah and mom said that it was uh two days each way oh yeah that he went on horseback and took a bed roll and you just stop you know wherever yeah. stop right here throw your bed roll down spend the night get up the next day and ride the rest of the way huh but she said it was a two-day trip each way just to go for, to, to fill out yeah to fill out papers for the census Something i can hit in 30 45 minutes yeah you can drive it now in no time yeah four lane it's crazy but, you know when people they they come over here from pikeville area and from mate one and they're like but he hit out i mean i heard he moved far away i'm like well i mean if you look at it we're 12 miles from the state line yeah. aerial and you're talking about doing that on horseback over you know 10 yeah. 20 yeah. mountains to get here yeah 
that's a lot of work. I mean, yeah. it was hidden out back then. Yeah, you know, it, it wasn't was. commercialized like this. People don't think about the difference of a hundred years of progress, you know, 120 years of progress. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, they, they just don't think about that. Yeah. That road over there was m probably wasn't much more than a dirt path. Oh, I'm sure. You know, yeah. Just leveled out, m kick a few rocks out right. of the way. Yep. That's I'm about sure. it. Yep. No doubt about it. And I think the longer he lived here, the more the community started building up here. You know, because he owned all the land at one point yeah, through here. Yeah. And then, um, you know, ended up selling it off to the coal companies and railways as that started becoming a thing and, you know, in the area. And then, of course, shortly after the feud, we had the mine wars, mm -hmm. right? Fighting for coal miner rights, which the family was also involved yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. My mom was a Blair, Blair Mountain. Oh, really? Yeah, my mom huh. was a Blair. That's awesome. Yeah, Sid Hatfield, you know, was sheriff. How cool is that? Just thought I'd let it go for just a second. How cool is this, guys? Tent camping. It's about 9, 9.30, something like that. Got everything all set up. Tent camping by my little fireplace in Devil Ants Hatfield's backyard. Now, how cool is that? <laughs> this is nice. It's actually, it's, it's not real cold. It's about, um, I think we're expecting around 50 tonight, something like that. Uh, I put the outer cover over my tent just in case. I don't think I'll need it, but it's, you know, it's one of them things that's better to have it and not need it than need it and ain't got it. You know, if you ain't got it and you get cold, you got to get up in the middle of the night and put it on. This way I don't. <laughs> but it's been a nice day. It's been really nice. Went, did a little bit of hiking way up in the mountains, that kind of thing, and just hanging out by the fire. That is really nice, isn't it? Thought I'd show you guys my setup real quick. Got my little, little tablet. Watching Godzilla versus Kong. Got it paused. But uh, got my little heart set up. Got my candle going. Got my buddy heater with me just in case it gets cool. But got my bed all set up. Some snacks, drinks. Watch a little TV. Relax a little bit. Kick back. How cool is that? <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd show y'all. All right, guys. It's morning, and we have just started about five minutes. Walked right up here with the metal detector. And look at this already. Civil War shot. Check that out. Looks like it's about a 50, 58. Maybe a 58. I don't have my caliper with me today. Yeah, and it's been shot. You yes. Guess it's shown look at that. Shot. How cool is that? Yep. Artifact number one for the museum. And I ain't been in it at three <laughs> minutes today. I said, we ain't even been out at three minutes today. <laughs> But we, ha we haven't started yet on any of the digging. The rock is over there that we suspect might be the entrance way. Yeah. It's right over there. But just literally came up with the metal detector to kind of poke around just a little bit before we do any digging. Instantly found that. Yeah. And you know, uh, too, Leo, I forgot to mention yesterday that um, we're going to try to start our own YouTube channel. Yes. So um, you guys who are watching this video, look up at Hatfield McCoy Foundation on YouTube and uh, subscribe to our channel. And what we're gonna try to start doing is uh, maybe weekly do a artifact review um, of all the artifacts in the museum and different stories about the family and the history. So, that is cool, that is cool. We'll put a link yeah. to that in the description too. We'll yeah, we don't have much on the page right now, but that's cause we're just getting started. So <laughs> we'd appreciate it if you could um, follow us at our page so we can uh, show you all the cool things that we found um, and give you details on them. Now up here, of course, is where we think is the yep, cellar the with entrance. that rock entrance right there. We haven't got started digging on that. Um, I'm going to dig this. I, I marked this last time when I was here. Yeah. And it was a little bit deep. I, didn't, I, didn't, I wasn't sure if it was any good or not. I'm going to go ahead and dig this while, while we got it here. All right. Sounds good. And then what... Um, what... Um, we think, of course, you know, the porta potty could have been out through there. 
Well, porta potty. Yeah, yeah, owl yeah. House. <laughs> porta potty. The original, the owl house. Yeah. OG porta yeah. potty. Yeah, an OG <laughs> porta potty. They used to be out through there. Of course, you can see probably from yesterday he cut down some of the brush. Yeah, some of the thorns. Already and stuff. this morning, to, so it wouldn't be so bad trying to dig it out. Um, but um, he was also saying he put a stronger coil on his metal detector, so it will pull up more uh, things, you know, deeper in the dirt. So we're on to something. It'll be interesting. Yeah, he's like a dog with a bone when it comes to finding stuff like <laughs> But, um... <coughs> How cool is this? <laughs> I want to make sure it ain't something. It's amazing at all the stuff that we have found out here on this property, I tell you. There's something. Something small. Yeah, it has to be. Oh my gosh. What'd you find? That's an unshot 44. Ah, really? Man. Yep, another Civil War bullet he found. That's a 44 Lagoon bullet. 44 Lagoon. Yeah, it's not puffed either. Nope, it's not been shot. It's <laughs> mint. Look at that. Check that out, y'all. Mint wow. condition. That's awesome. That is amazing. <gasps> yeah. What, five minutes or so? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> two civil war bullets hey, I didn't five dig it last time I was here I thought it was trash ah. <laughs> remember I, I put yeah, it yeah that's when you had that little red flag, flag, on. flag on it yeah but that's also how I knew where you had showed me the entrance could have been to that cellar with the rocks yeah, see, was where you, you had got the flag. that there Leo and you had all the way out there toward the end yeah. you see it yeah I do well you think about it something like that you could store something like that in a cellar because that's not going to deteriorate Right, right, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, your food, your canned food, everything. Yeah, you know, anything like he was saying, He found seven, uh, seven mason jar lids over here. So, I mean, it's, I mean, to find that yeah. many in one spot, yeah, we would imagine that there has to be something, something down there. Well, I'm but. gonna work my way out that way, back and forth a little bit before we start yeah. digging. I want to make sure we clear it, yeah, clear it, good yeah, before we, before yeah. we actually destroy something right. or cover yeah. something over worse. Right. You're right, you're right. But anyhow, guys, right there, you can see right here is where the, the rock starts. And you can see it's straight line wall right across here. I'm going to walk on across and... Still going. You can still see the stone. You can still see the old cut stone coming across here all the way to there. Uh, I don't see any more. Looks like it ends here. So that's, uh, what, about 25 feet? Give or take? Yeah, probably, yeah. If not more. 25, 30, I'd say, yeah. Well, he's already on something else. He's on here. something else, y'all. Definitely something higher. <coughs> This says it's silver. Really? Yeah. What are the what are the bullets? Uh, there. <laughs> what are the what do these bullets come out? They're lead, aren't they? Yeah, between silver and lead. Oh, okay. It says it's about five inches deep. It's about that now. Yeah. what this is for must have brought it out of the hole oh it's <laughs> seems like it keeps hitting right here 
Oh, right there. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Yeah, what is oh, that? Oh, Leo. Uh-oh. Leo. The coin. Oh, it's silver. It's a silver coin. How cool is that? Really? Oh, my God. 1907. Oh, that's awesome. Huh? Hit it with the thing a little bit there. Scratched it a little bit. That's all right. We'll clean her up. Yeah, put that on eBay. No! There's your, your museum. It's warm. I, uh, it's warm a little bit. I can't, warm. I can't part with anything that comes off his property. <laughs> I can't. It's my family's history, you know. I, know. I was just playing it anyway. I know, but <laughs> yeah, I got 1907, yeah. In God we trust. I've not seen a coin like this before. That is amazing. That's American coin. That's a 50 cent piece. Yeah, yeah it has to be saying well, God is, we trust. It? You know coins? Not that well. We'll definitely do Check some history on it and it might be one of the things that we showcase on, you know, a YouTube video no for kidding. the history That's of it. No Check that out. Yeah, some of these artifacts and things we found here, buddy, I'll spend hours and hours and hours researching them, trying to get the, yeah, you know, the real yeah. history and the real story on them. How if cool. they're real and authentic, you know, if time period appropriate. Of course, there were two families that lived here after Devil Ances and Levice's death. So. But that's the error right there. Yeah, for when sure. They were here. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. It probably fell out of one of their pockets up here. I'm telling you, I'm wondering if this, this right, this area right here seems to be a little gold mine for Yes, it, it does. Well, we ain't found nothing like it down no, there No, we all. haven't found, I haven't found anything uh, like, well, actually, I'll take that back. What I tell you about silver, it looks just, it looks yeah. a little bit corroded right there, but. Yeah, look at that. Pitted yeah. around the edge, it looks like it's been hit by stuff. Yeah, I noticed yeah. that little nick in one of the corners. I'll clean her up, put her in a case, and we'll have her on display in there. That's right. So we've done found three, four good finds three, right off the bat. Yeah, three already yeah. this morning. Yeah. Yeah, our two bullets and our coin already. <laughs> we ain't been going at it 10, 20 minutes. Hey, you can see the difference here, right here. I just wanted to mention something while we've got them both. Size. The size, look at that. Yeah, that's a 58 over here, I think. And this is a 44 Dragoon, I'm pretty sure, right there. Mm -hmm. It's a pistol bullet, and this here is a carbine. I uh -huh. hate to get hit with either one of them. I mean, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> yeah, a little big old hole in yours. Yes, it would. Yeah, you ain't surviving that. That is insanely cool. Guys, I didn't want to say nothing about the silver part because yeah. I'm not hit silver much. Yeah, I wanted to make sure what it was before I said anything. Oh, God, I we got gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it says United on it, but it's... It's it's yeah, so it's a worn you piece. can't see. Is that okay? The fifty cent piece. I'm sure you can find uh, it on the on line. Yeah. Usually, I mean, this one's in pretty good shape. You can still tell what it is. Um, there's some things like we found an eighteen, an eight. Or let's see, eighteen ninety seven. I think it is in there. Seated Liberty Dime. Really? Um, yeah. And that's found a Seated Liberty Dime here. Uh huh. What year was it? I think it's eighteen ninety seven. Um, but it was so worn down, you know, I had to put it under the microscope to, to see what it was and figure it out. And it's another thing it took me hours to figure out what that one was. I mean, we knew it was silver, but we didn't know what it was. Um, so I ended up getting a replica like it. So you can see, you know, in the museum, there's really the replica was. and the original setting there. So you can see what it really was. But yeah, this one's in pretty good shape. I don't even know that I would need to get a replica. Not I mean, really, you no. can... You clean can, it up and put him in a case. Yeah, you can still it's see. Got a nick. I wonder. Well, there's on the back. There's an X. Really? Yeah. You know, look at that. See, so, see so the United the States is worn off, but you see the X there. Huh. Yep. That is wild. I'm glad it? I didn't start digging with a matic. Yeah, I know. That oh, that's wild. what I was going to say a little earlier. Was that um, he was talking about how um, you know we do need to hit this dirt up with a matic to make it softer, so we can try to dig down and see what actually this is but um, um before doing that um we need to kind of comb through this really good to make sure you know Definitely. we're not beating anything up with a <coughs> while we start digging 
Well, you remember um, yesterday we were making jokes about Geraldo Rivera? Yeah. And Al Capone's ball. Yeah. We've already found more than Geraldo did. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we know we ain't pulling on Geraldo then. <laughs> Hey, we go over to the other side. There it is. Oh no. You know it. I saw it. Oh, I saw that. that I saw that. I didn't see it. <laughs> go ahead. You you have the honors. All right, Leo. You take you, you bring sure? it out, buddy. You, you sure? You bring it out there, buddy. I'd be honored to. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> really? That's so awesome. <laughs> Oh my God! How cool That's would it be to find one. a stash of coins That's a dollar. in there? That's a dollar. That's a dollar. Oh my God! Look at that, I guys! Hit it with a daggone shovel. Look at that! Awesome. Oh, here is it? Uh, 1879. What? That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this is freaking awesome, guys. Golly! Hey, That's I've never amazing. Found, I've never found one of them. That's my first. Really. I found, there you found a lot of dimes and that stuff, is insanely but I've never cool. Found Look a at the dollar. size of that thing. Yeah. Is it heavy? Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, That's it the is. Real deal, ain't Feel it? that. Feel that. I ain't, I ain't held it yet. Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, guys. What? What have we been out here? 20 minutes? 30 minutes? Maybe. If that. Not even maybe. that. I doubt it. Mm. Wow. That's Gee, awesome, man. man. Boy, that is heavy. Yeah, it is. Feel, so feel that. You got that right? <laughs> And look at here how hey, it's not the difference. It's the not weight. all that circulated. No, no, no it's it. still Hit in great condition. Puppy. Yeah, the edge lines are even intact. Yeah. It's a little tipped a little bit right there. It's been hit by stuff, but I'll clean that up really nice. Yeah, I mean that'll clean up real nice to showcase in the museum. <laughs> mm, yeah. So it's interesting they got the you know kind of very similar. It is. Yeah. That's, that's the fifty cent piece here. And, and then the one dollar. Yeah, this one says one dollar. On that one would say, well, as you see right there, United yeah, States. Yeah, United there, States. But the rest but of it's done wore out. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. You know what I think yes, I'm going to do? I don't know what we got here. I'm we got to keep going. We found something unusual, but it's not Devil Lance. It's definitely historic, though. <laughs> <laughs> this, believe it or not, guys, this is a little tiny piece of a meteor shard. This is not from this earth. Get down to the base, sir. How do you? How wild is that? Not it's of not, this earth, y'all. It's not got, lo got a lot of it in it, but it's got some. Yeah. Most of them got little bit tiny holes in it. Yeah, porous. Yeah. yeah. That That's is wild. wild. Don't weigh hardly anything either. It's real light. <laughs> and it is rock. It's not. Yeah. A little tiny piece of a meteor shard, y'all. How about that? Devil Ants' meteor shard. Yeah. <laughs> We're on to something big. It's big. We don't know what it is yet. But it's setting off the detectors and looks to be at least about a foot wide, maybe. Well, really? That big? jar full of gold yeah <laughs> yeah it's big the devil's gold oh it's big right there what's that it's solid like that it's right on top of it <laughs> it's old i don't know what it is he said it's gold oh that's it no he said gold i heard him he said gold <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll cut this root out of here. All right. So I can get down in there deeper. Whatever it was, it was underneath this great big rock right here that I've got my foot on. It was underneath this rock. Right at the edge of the wall. Huh. there, I would have. It don't go all the way across, by the way. It don't? No. This one ends here. Hmm. See where we made the little track right there? Yeah. And we did the same thing over there, looking for the wall. But mm -hmm. it's like that one's over there like that, like an arch. And another one over here. It's 
two, looks like two doors maybe. Oh, here we go. Huh. Iron. What is it? It's iron. Iron. Uh -huh. Is it there? Yeah. He's a pipe. <laughs> oh no. But you were right. It was at least a foot long, Leo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's strange. That's deep. Yeah, why in the world would you have a pipe back here? If it's a pipe. I'm telling you, I still it's, feel it's square. Square? Square. You yeah, feel it. Oh, you're feeling it. Huh. It's square. That looks like top of a railroad track, don't it? I bet it's what it is. You didn't have river tracks up here, did you? Well, no. Devil Lance consulted all the railways right. on he, he's the one that laid where them all to put out. the rails. That's a rail? Um, because, it's a railroad rail. Well, and I'll tell you, because he and he kept all the uh, tracks away from the house here because it was his place. But the bridge out there, the historic bridge that he built out there, is made out of about 20 of those railroad on rails the all the way across that bridge out there. So that's how they constructed it. They did railroad rails out there, and then they had it as a wood drawbridge, and then later concreted it in. He's out here for all we know. The man was a millionaire. He had, by our standards, you know, two to five million dollars. Yep. This old boy, he had money. Yep. <laughs> and it's all gone. Uh, we if, ain't got if, a penny of it left. <laughs> do this little front section, and then we could kind of dig it back dig over back. on it, and you know everything's good there. Nothing's. Right. Right. See, Tennis inherited almost everything when he passed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know he went through. He it. went ran through it quickly. Yeah, he ran and... through it quick. I don't even think any of his descendants yeah. these days even have any uh, yeah. any of the money. That's what happened to the house, guys. He ran through the money and decided to burn the house for the insurance money. Yeah, to pay But that. he got he got busted and went to jail. So that's yeah. what happened to the original. That's what happened to Devil Lance's original house. Yeah. So it's been. Uh... And you know, a lot of people today, one big question I get asked all the time, Leo, um, or asked or brought up is that people think that we get royalties from our name and you know, from everybody using our name. I mean, you go to Pigeon Forge and Dolly has a dinner theater in her name. You know, there's, uh, yesterday I think you were talking about going to Huntington and seeing Hatfield McCoy named yeah, stuff, yeah. right? Not to mention the trail system, the state using the name. and. Even the county uses the name as their CVB board, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but we get absolutely nothing from our name um, and from our legend, you know, our legendary history. Um, you actually cannot copyright history. That's so we cannot stop people from using the name. However, you know, as his grandchild, I guess, and his descendants, we can, you know, kind of put a stamp of approval or not depending on how people are using the name yeah so we have a little bit of influence over it but we literally get nothing financially from it yeah and a lot of people think we benefit from all that but we don't we're bringing in the big guns y'all we're going after the porta potty we'll call it that it was actually an outhouse you know be careful buddy yeah Oh yeah, right through it. Grab that bottle out there. We'll get that bottle or the bottle you got out there. Take a little bit of the side right here and one more time in the bottom. That'd be probably be good. Hmm. The knee high, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right here in the 
that side over. Hold on one second, Jack. Let me get this, whatever this is. Out of hole now. Piece of pipe, terracotta. Yeah, terracotta. Piece of terracotta. Pipe, terracotta pipe. You would think though, uh, an outhouse you would think would be, you know, dark like that. But I guess there's a lot of clay in it, so the clay may, you know. You're right. You're right. You're right. The whole thing's experimental, isn't it? <laughs> Be careful, boy. Okay, we are going to start wrapping up a little excavation. Danny is heading off into the woods back behind the house. Watch for snakes there, Danny. There, see if he finds Watch for snakes. Along the two walls, we are still, still sort of confused. I mean, there was, this was obviously put here for a reason. This is man-made. These are cut stones. You know, you can see that. There's man-made stones. And we did find the coin there, and another coin there, and several of the uh, you know old Civil War style uh, musket bullets, that sort of thing. Uh, found a whole bunch of little things, you know, the, the leaf spring, of course. I mean, that's that's really cool. Uh, a leaf spring from a wagon, how cool is that? But uh, we also found uh, a whole bunch of mason jar lids and nails and. Little silly things, you know. I dropped a, dropped a nail. And dog devil Lance's modern dog collar latch. But check this out. It's an old chicken bone. And how long this thing has been laying there is beyond me. Danny found something. What you got? Cheese? Really? Yeah. Got right now. That is cool. old it is, but it's, it kind of looks like an old key. Yeah, it is. Like to a trunk or something. Well, it says something you... Something corporation. It's got a... Hey, it's got the hole in it, too, yeah. Now, that is cool. Jack will be thrilled I'm about that. I'm finding stuff he, now. <laughs> he loves script. He's a script junkie. I want to from that time to... That is wild, isn't it? I've got some stuff to squirt on it. Let's see if we can find out what that is. Let's do it. Work that real good. Dip it over. It's copper. Give me this brass brush on it, won't hurt it much. Oh yeah, it's coming to light now. Old mind script. This is the stuff they used to cheat you guys with. They get you to move down here and promise you the job. Then you get down here and you find out they don't give you real money. They give you this stuff. Well, I see mercantile on it. So you know really? what that means. Yeah, yeah, yep. Goods only. Junior mercantile. Really? See right there? Really? Yep. MJC. Omar, West Virginia. This is local. This is a local piece of script from right up, right up the road there. <laughs> yeah, get that side again. Now get that side with that brush, see what he does. What is that stuff anyway? Vinegar and water. Huh? Vinegar and water. Huh. It won't damage coins and cleans pretty good. It's a little bit, little bit acidic, yeah. yeah. Found it the same place the key was. Yeah. See Orca on there. Huh. That's what I was thinking. See, there was I, I was noticing uh, Jack's script. He was showing me his script last night. And there was a company that made those and had that same logo on a lot of the old, uh, the old script down there that he had. I'm guessing it, that was the company that made made script for these coal companies. right there, man, and found that. I mean, I didn't have to go very far. Yeah. So I ain't been up in there any. 
doing anything. I heard that. It looks like it's going to be productive. Well, Larry, <laughs> it does, don't it? Don't it? <laughs> We're still finding stuff, guys. We thought we were done, but it don't look like it, does it? How about the key? Did you clean it up, or do you, do you know what that is? Not really. You can't really tell a whole lot. Well, we got, a, we got a, a certifi certification number on it. That's a big deal right there. <laughs> <laughs> Briggs and Stratton Corporation, Milwaukee. Huh. That is cool. It probably went to a tractor or something. Yeah, it's not the same. Yep, you got good eyes. You want my glasses? <laughs> I got my focus. <laughs> We've had a good day, though. We have had, this has been spectacular. Uh, I mean, I was kind of figured we'd find nails and, you know, I figured that did, stuff, but... but we didn't dig anymore because there was thousands of them in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am impressed, though. We found tons of stuff. Well, you found tons it's of stuff. It's stuff. You found tons of stuff. You help, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get my gun, buddy. Yeah. Jack gave us ink pens. Check this out right here. This is just too cool. Let's pull it straight off. I don't care. And it's then an I can start right. Gun. And I'm left-handed. I'm southpaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so cool. Nothing else, I got me a good gun out of it. That's all. right, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. But we're still, we still don't know what the, exactly the rock structures were for, the walls. They were for something. We were thinking there might have been, you know, a cellar. But no cellar, apparently. Unless it, no, I don't think it was. And the outhouse turned out to be a tree that had fallen over. And when they fall, they'll sometimes they'll leave a dip, leave a dip in the ground. And we thought this was maybe the outhouse, but the ground is, you know, there would be dark. The, the soil would be discolored. It would be different color, wouldn't match. And this is pretty much all clay. Once you get down to a certain point, you know, past the, the top soil, it's just all clay. This is, no one's dug here before. So that was a tree that fell. It was not the outhouse. I'm going to bring all this thing back down. I'm going to see if he wants to take care of this or, or if he wants me to, I can restore Clean it. Clean it up. Mm hmm Cool. That's pretty cool right there. Danny, you did a good job, buddy. Oh, thank you, buddy. <laughs> hey, it was so good being here today. Beautiful day, 75 degrees. I know, out here. man. I know. It's nice. That's cool. It? Really good. It's nice. I'm glad to see winter dead, and I hope it hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. I'm going to shut the camera down. Straighten up a little bit. Got to go break camp here in a little while. Start getting everything back together. You get ready to head back toward the house. But man, this has been really cool. You know, I, I honestly, I figured we'd find a couple nails, some mason jar lids. You know, I didn't count on, you know, old ammunition and got silver coins. I, you know, the leaf spring's really cool. Didn't count on any of that stuff. And of course those, the key and the script. And who knows what else Danny will find before he leaves. <laughs> we ain't off the hill yet, are we? That's right. That's right. But anyway, all right. So y'all. Okay, know. we've got everything loaded back up. We're done on the hillside. Got the KM all loaded, all the camping gear put away. Just about ready to head back home. We've had a very productive day. We found yep. a ton of stuff. Script. Yep silver coins not what we thought we'd find no but doubt no doubt still some cool stuff yeah i, I figured yeah. we'd find some you know nails and bottle lids and yeah. you know and stuff yeah. like that i, I with didn't the, with the things that we found up there i i i don't know why but it still comes back to me that that was where they had to steal at because i mean all of them cannon jar lids up yeah. there that and we the, found the rock is and, for something they yeah, didn't and the rock they didn't flat. build those for nothing right and it's kind of hidden off of the uh, property of yeah. I, I just I, I still feel like that was the, yeah. a hidden spot I agree. That, there's no way that that's accidental you know no, they, they put them no. there for something yeah, yeah. it just so. doesn't make sense and and finding money up there yeah, finding, finding silver coins script, finding that. you know um uh, all those cannon jar lids it just it just oh, that's yeah. the only thing the it makes sense spring, yeah the know, wagon spring really yeah cool. like, that is really cool yeah <laughs> just gonna shine that up and clean that up yeah. so we can yeah. display Hang it in the museum. museum yeah yeah that'd be but really cool he got cool. some script that one piece of script we looked at it it's from omar mines just right down yeah. the road down here omar merchantile and company he, you already had some of those though didn't you yeah i have one in there omar is a little hard to come by 
Omar and Island Creek, which are our two local ones here, um, which actually is where my grandfather's worked. Um, but especially um, considering it was his yes. script, you right? Know, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know, it's uh, it, yeah. There, those those <laughs> two mines are really hard to find script from. Um, but actually, um, you have to show them too the uh, paper script. Yeah, uh, I, I gave will, you, I will, I will, um, I you know, of um, Island Creek mines. So those are really rare because paper didn't survive, you know. Yeah, no kidding. So we no got the kidding. paper stamps, which is really cool. So you have to show them that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a good day. Well, have a good day. Jack, I, I want to thank you, man. I appreciate course, the buddy. hospitality. I appreciate the opportunity to come out here and, you know, and do this kind of thing. Yeah. And, you know, I, I really appreciate you. I really yeah, do for, like for I letting said, us I'm, be a part of it. You know, Thank I only you. work with people that, you know, I know are trying to paint us in a good light. You know, yeah, the yeah. media tries to turn a lot of stuff with our family. Oh, yeah, they try to make it sensational to sell more. Yeah, 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 yeah. The truth isn't really a factor these days. Far from it, right? <laughs> Far from it. So, but. yeah, so we're very careful on that. And, you know, we appreciate you, you know, providing all that you do Sorry. for <laughs> Appalachia. But, um, you know, with all the videos and all the investigation stuff you do. We appreciate that as well, buddy. Right so. back at you, man. Right back at you doing a museum here. You're doing something very yep. unique here. Yeah, we're building. We're building. We should we're have a new unique. building hopefully open in July. Um, we're hoping to have it, uh, the new uh, space open in July. It'll be a big cabin, and that'll house the museum and the gift shop. And then we'll have a picnic shelter out there where the food truck is um, to cool everybody down, you know, coming off the trails and a little gym mining sluice so the yeah, so kids. the kiddos can pay for gold, you know, <laughs> or adults too. We we don't judge. Yeah, you know, really? I mean, I'm really? sure you'll catch me out there in it. I'm sure, but um, you know, it's, you know, we're we're working. But you know, this is just the tip of the iceberg. But of course, I can only go as fast as I can afford to go. You that's know, it. that's true. So the support, the true. help, you know, people supporting the family, supporting the museum, um, you know, the nonprofit. It all. Thank you guys. It all helps. So thank you very much for sure. Definitely. Well, I guess I better. Head on out. Heather's waiting on me. She's waiting on the video. She, yeah. I talked to her earlier. She's eager to get a hold of it. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good video. So I think, yeah, I think it this is. one will do it very is. well. The silver coins and stuff. I yeah. Mean, and the camping. I mean, my God, who gets to camp on Devil Lance Hatfield's yeah. yard? Right now that I know of, you're the only one. <laughs> At least since I've been here anyway. <laughs> yep. So, but, but. Uh, guys, we're going to call it a day. I guess we're going to head on back home. Thank you again, Jack. Very much yeah. appreciate you. Of course, man. buddy. Appreciate you, man. All right, you have a good one. And don't, work, don't work too hard. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Take we'll care, We'll see buddy. you next time, guys, on the Hillbilly Files. You guys have a great day. And I'm going to start my little butt back home. I got about a 30-mile ride in Can-Am. So, yes. <laughs> we'll see you, Jack. Goodbye. Have a good one. Thank you guys for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the little trip. Uh, it's been very cool. This has been a totally unique experience. I mean, I've camped in a lot of places. I've never camped in something like this. This is really cool. And what we did up there, now how cool was that? That was really nice, I like that. But anyhow guys, we'll see you next time on the Hillbilly Files. You guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.